if the whoever created us, if the creator tells us, then you can say. So we say all human beings have a one common purpose, and that objective purpose is the creator said in the Quran is the Quran is the only religious book that mentions the purpose of mankind. You won't find in other um, religious uh, scripture and sources. So Allah says in the Quran, "Wama khalaqta jinna wa linsa ila liyabudun." We have not created man except nothing but worship. So to be grateful to his creator. And we say actually everything within around us is actually a Muslim, including babies. Muslim, the word Muslim means submission to God. So the one who submits to God is called uh, in Islam. Islam means submission to God and the one who adheres to that is called a Muslim. What do you think of that? Like all, all of us originally born as a Muslim. No, I think I make my own purpose. Yeah. Like so you kind of say you kind of believe in the objective purpose. I suppose so. Yeah, I just I make my own purpose. I think life needs purpose, but yeah, but there, it's yeah, up to yeah. me to decide. I don't think that's an external force. They don't have external force. Yeah, so, you, no. so you wouldn't believe that there's a creator that brought you into existence, or? Um, no. I mean, for me, I think I'm. I'm a guy that likes science, you know, I, science. I can see, I, I think the scientific explanation is what I think to But would you say like science, science is, science all it means is uh, the study of the physical world? So when you say science, science is a study, it has an, and you need, you need a, you need a creator, to, to, um, an old entity that is all powerful, that necessary being. But is a creator not a human application and explanation? We don't say that, we say that the creator is not human, so everything you have in the world is dependent upon something. No, but the concept of a creator is something that is a human. No, 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 that's that, that might be Christianity. Our concept of God is, there's a chapter of the Quran that in 112, says, say, say God is one, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ حَدْ Allah is all uh, absolute. So God is one, one and only. He doesn't begot, no one has given children, and, and He's absolute and, and He's incomparable. You can't compare it to anything. So the Quran is so detailed what God is and the concept of God and His attributes. We don't say God is a man or woman. And Islam actually believes God is genderless as well. So, from the Christian point of view, God becoming a man and, and Mary looking after God, that is not their own necessary being. So, what I would say to you, the only the best convincing argument for you would be is everything you have in the in the universe is dependent. So you can't have a multiple dependent things. So at one point you have to have a independent thing that all dependent things depend upon. The necessary being, and we say that's God. Right. You can't know for certain. I'm always open to you know, No, but in terms of in terms of, uh, we don't believe God is just like an absent father. We say God created the universe and everything that you see, and communicated with us through prophets, and gave us signs and miracles and the intellect and, and the rationality to know Him. Do you see? And we say Him obviously is just a language. Yeah, right? yeah. Sorry, I just want something is that the most important thing is to teach us how to live our life. Because everybody, like we don't know what's good for you, what's wrong for me, what's good for you, what's wrong for me. So we need that being to tell us. It's like when you buy a TV or a yeah. washing machine, you get this instruction manual to teach you. Yeah. No, I really course. admire the, 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 the code of practice, the way to learn, the yeah, kind absolutely. of opposite yeah. structure. So yeah. what do you think of what I said, the fitra? The fitra, uh, as like, the fitra is just another word for natural inclination. Yeah. We say all children, everyone, is born with a fitrat, the natural inclination to believe in God. And it's Islam that only preaches that, no other religion that. And I think there was a professor, I think in Cambridge, Oxford, I can't, Oxford, who done a research among children, and they concluded that all children are born believing God. You see, so in another word, they just and concluded what um, they just said what Prophet Muhammad had said 1400 years ago that all children are born believing God so like we're hardwired in to believe in God but this is what Prophet Muhammad said and he said he's the parents that socialize the children and turn them into the environment turn them to Jews or Christians or fire worshippers so I would say that's why we even use words like revert so we, if you accept Islam today we don't say you converted we say you reverted 
We have plenty of an uh, English. And if you, in fact, there's five, six of them in that corner, all white yeah. British English men that have uh, accepted Islam and is the fastest growing religion on earth. So I say to you guys, revert to your original belief before yeah. you were socialized. Thank you very much. Yeah. Really yeah. interesting. So, I mean, no, it's Islam it teaches you. It's, 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 the only thing to appreciate Islam, that's one of the things that appreciate Islam from any other religion, is that Islam encourages you to ask questions and not just believe blindly. You yeah, yeah. Yeah. It will convince no, you. Would, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, the, the amount of people that revert every year. No, 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 no. Islam is, is far from that. It's, Islam actually elevates two things of you your intellect as well as your emotional. So, Islam is not only emotional religion. I mean, every year, seven to eight thousand people uh, roughly accept Islam. It's not all because of emotional reasons. It's all because of intellectual, intellectual reasons. Reason. So the Quran constantly says, "Don't you reflect of uh, creation of God? Don't you see the signs of God?" And it gives you a rational argument why you should believe in God. Um, you would say like one of the things that the entire universe come along to create one uh, fly, another small yeah. fly. You will not be able to. Yeah. And the Quran has a lot of scientific discoveries as well that we just discovered modern day today that man didn't know, 7th century man didn't know, uh, such as embryology, uh, such as mountains. We only discovered recently that mountains have a deeper root. Ooh. What we see is just 25% of, of the big yeah. Yeah. Like the Everest, mm -hmm. imagine it's 9,000. Yeah, and that's how the Quran actually is. Well, I think there's, there's a lot of values to be found in religion, right? There's yeah. a lot you can learn from. Yeah, yeah. yeah we might have a Have around. you guys, and um, if I may ask you, have yeah, you yeah, researched yeah. Islam as well? Have you read the Quran? Or? No. No, 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 no. Can I give you guys a little spark why you should read the Quran? It's yeah? Quick, yeah. It's, it's very quick. Yeah. Quran is the only religious book in the world, in fact, in the only entire world, I would say, that has a falsification challenge. Do you know what a falsification challenge is? Falsification challenge is if, if both of you are competing about who's the fastest, what's the best way of settling it? Race. So a falsification test basically is a method that you do to find out the truth. So in your, uh, the scenario that I've just given you guys, the falsification test will be to have a race. So Quran gives you a falsification, a method of way, a challenge where you can do to know whether the Quran is from God or not. And it says all you have to do is find one single contradiction. That's one of the falsifications. Right, so Guess what? No, this challenge has never been met and still standing. Fourteen hundred. Our establishment is paying millions of pounds to falsify the Quran. They can't. The, another challenge is is just create a chapter like the Quran. And that's, but that's for non and Arab, like me and you, I'm non Arab. Study the language, God is telling us, and create a chapter like the Quran. The smaller chapter of the Quran is like three lines. Is that small? So, I would advise you guys to read the Quran, it's a very miraculous book. And you can get a copy literally at the front. There's one brother and other materials. Well, we wander around. Yeah, yeah, sure. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah, take care. Bye bye. Oh, thank you. No, 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 no. You did well, mashallah, mashallah. You added your bit. Thank you, Akhi. No, just purpose of life. And one of them believes in God, but the other one doesn't. So we've given them a little bit of tobacco. Yeah, yeah.